Natasha, it was a warm and cheerful welcome home for Alex and Andy this afternoon. Family members tell me they are excited for them to finally be home. Here on Broad Street, there is no power. Cars are flipped and totaled. Portions of buildings are collapsed. And there's even pieces of a structure wrapped around this tree right here behind me. The meteorologist in charge that day in 2011 tells me in the 30 years that he worked severe weather in tornado outbreaks, Nothing compares to what ripped through our state that day. It's right here at J and J Grocery in Delhi that Matthew McConaughey and the production crew filmed sun up to sundown last Friday. Owner Allison Coker tells me the whole experience was all right, all right, all right. Right now I am face to face with some of the coolest prehistoric creatures to ever invade the BJCC. This right here is my new little buddy Tyson the T-Rex. Isn't he super cool? And when they do, Alex and Gustavo taught me how you can take care of business. As you can see on this flyboard here behind me, there are still some delays and even a cancellation in the mix right now. As the EPA prepares to move into place to tackle this fire, you can still see the smoke here behind me that continues contaminating the air. And drink plenty of non-alcoholic liquids ahead of time so you don't end up at one of these medical tents or on that stretcher there. That'll pop up your profile and then you'll make your selections, swipe your card, and within two to three minutes, those brand new tags will print right out. There's nothing wrong with letting your kids go a little candy crazy, especially since it's Halloween, but while kids are collecting treats, it's important for parents to be present and aware of possible tricks. People who do pay with the Park Mobile app, but they're not updating their license plate number inside of the app. They're loading up those shells, finalizing the setup, and of course, connecting all those fuses for the big show tonight. About 3,500 journalists will be filling the BJCC here where I am here very shortly. AM radio here is the backbone of our nation's emergency alert system and it worries her if it were to disappear from our dashboards. But for now, I'll pass it back to y'all in the studio. Live in Birmingham, news reporter Barbie, I mean Ali Root, CBS 42 News. Ani, I talked to one of the victim's daughters. She tells me this is a trauma you never truly get over, but that there is opportunity and how they've chosen to respond and move forward. Of a possible active shooter. The person was acting as a gunsmith. Reported to have at least two people down at this time. 71 year old Robert Smith opened fire during a potluck, killing Jane Pounds, Sharon Yeager, and Bart Rainey. St. Stephen's Episcopal Church now continuing on with faith one year later. The church has been um, busy and vibrant and um, which has reminded us that we can be hopeful in, in very uncertain times. Rainey's daughter, alongside 40 plus parishioners, wrote a book helping them process their grief. And at first I was really like, I don't think, th no, are you kidding? And um, then we started more thinking about it. People came the first week and then a few more people and you could see them getting visibly stronger all year with this project. Making a choice to find the silver lining. God doesn't promise us an easy path through this, this life, um, but when we gather together, uh, we find hope and, um, and, and we can find life. It wasn't just my father or just my friends or just those people. It was this whole community banding together. So I think from a terrible thing, good has come. Thompson saying to help even one person through this book can help those affected who still hurt. You know, we're not going to all be Bill Gates or Oprah Winfrey and change the world, but we, we can do these little bits, uh, like work on this book together, to try to put all our little bits and moments together that I think ultimately maybe are the one thing that can change the world. A service honoring the lives lost and survivors of last year's fatal shooting will take place right here this evening at 6.30 p.m. 
Live in Vestavi Hills, Alley Root, CBS 42 News. And you can even hear people worshiping inside of Reed Chapel here behind me as we speak. And for the last 11 days, thousands have come and gone to Asbury University to take part in that revival with worship continuing 24 hours a day. It spread and as you are saying, revival is now breaking out in our own backyard. Asbury personnel say they are deeply humbled to realize that God has chose this place to to um, create this call it revival, call it awakening, uh, call it whatever you like. A revival completely unplanned that students say has brought people together like never before. To be able to experience this after like there's been so much hurt and tension and pain, I feel like it's just very it makes me filled with hope. Alexandra Presta says what began as one of their usual required chapel services morphed into a constant worship that's drawn people in from all over the nation, like Katherine Kipley. You can't leave something like that and not be changed and not have an urgency to share it with the rest of the world. Students from Samford University say they felt led to start their own. It was just pure like authenticity and people just raising their hands, confessing sins, like re like just being redeemed. I saw three people get saved last night and it's, I think it's, I don't know, it's just kind of wild to think about um, that this is kind of happening everywhere. They say this shows the Holy Spirit is not limited to one place. We see just him sprinkling down around this nation, around the world, making himself known. God is so good and so loving that he can meet you in your living room, in your town, um, wherever you are. If you're hurting, if you're full of joy, like he wants to meet you and he wants to have a relationship with you. Those involved tell me this is not just an event being written in history, but a movement of God that will last in people's lives forever. Live in Homewood, Alley Root, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm Ali Root and you're watching the CBS 42 Morning News. This weekend's bridge crossing Jubilee events are shifting into high gear in Selma. The event draws thousands of people from across the country. This year, President Joe Biden is expected to be in Selma tomorrow for the bridge crossing commemoration. Breaking at noon, two children are missing in Etowah County and authorities need your help locating them. California is again being hit with a severe weather system. This one expected to last into next week. New at noon, an unidentified body was discovered on I-59 in Birmingham this morning. A judge in South Carolina handed down two consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole to Alec Murdoch. A jury found the disgrace South Carolina Carolina attorney guilty of murdering his wife and youngest son. Six people now facing charges in connection with a deadly birthday party shooting in Dadeville. The man who was convicted of killing Kristen Smart, the California college student who vanished without a trace in 1996, was sentenced Friday to 25 years to life. Happening tomorrow, Life South invites the community to join together and honor the memory of local students Anaya Blanchard of Auburn who lost her life in October 2019, and Destiny Washington of Birmingham, who died in December 2020. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel is about to take her final bow, and Willie Nelson releases new music. Donya Backus has those stories and more in your Eye on Entertainment report. How it all went down as the Tide had one of its most impressive showings of the year. D. Jackson gives it to you straight in your morning sports. Robinson's career spans for decades. He has received numerous awards. He has also been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Preparations are underway for the 95th Academy Awards, where everything everywhere all at once is the lead nominee and the film industry will hope to move past the slap of last year's ceremony. The Oscars will be held tomorrow at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, where workers Friday were putting the finishing touches on the red carpet. Well, make that the champagne carpet.
Happening today, the annual Cottontails Village Festival at the BJCC. The festival brings families and friends together to celebrate the spring season. Stocks dropped on Wall Street yesterday after the largest bank failure since 2008. Still ahead, you've got concerts and shows, race weekend, and also the champs are taking the field for their second game of the second season. And for your lasting image, who's having a good time? This weekend is the annual International Festival of Owls happening in Houston, Minnesota. Folks come from all over the world to celebrate these wise birds with around 2,000 expected to attend, twice the population of the small town. Well, that's all the time we have for today, and we'll be seeing you next time.